eating him up. We have made it to our new house. This has been such a difficult journey. We'll, have to, we'll be sharing the story with you guys shortly, but it was not easy getting to this point. But we just closed down the house, didn't we? Thank God we made it. Oh, and we are so thankful we the made it. The difficulties have made walking through this door that much sweeter. Yes. So for security purposes, we're not going to show the front of the house, even though it's beautiful. But we're gonna start at the very front door. So here we go, Sutton, take us off. Oh, it's you. Welcome to our house. <laughs> Come on in. All right, so right when you walk in the front door is the office. This is for Nathaniel, and this is a major upgrade from our old house because he was basically in a closet. And now he's got some shelves and some cabinets to put all of his equipment. We're gonna put some antique cameras on that shelf and it's gonna be super cute. So on the right side of the front door is the dining room. And what I thought would be cool, you guys let me know, is if we painted this room like a really dark color, like a really dark gray or like almost black, I feel like that would be cool. This is probably my favorite light fixture in this whole house. I gotta give this builder some credit on the light fixtures because he nailed it. The only one I don't like is the one in the master, you'll see it. But this one is beautiful. And he also did all this paneling on the walls, which I feel like is an extra nice touch when you have these huge walls that would normally just be plain. He like made them interesting with the paneling, so now I feel like we don't have to like put a bunch of things here to make it interesting. And then we got these light colored floors, which was surprisingly super hard to find as we were looking for a house. We really wanted light wood floors and that was super hard to find, believe it or not. Everyone had like the really dark floors and we've lived that life and you can see every crumb on the floor. So we really wanted light. Then we have this little half bath when you walk in the door. But if you keep coming this way, this is the main area of the house. So you have the living room right here, the spot for the table, and then the beautiful kitchen. And what I really like about this spot is these windows. Like these are windows that look like doors, but it lets so much light in here. And I feel like it makes it look really open. So I really love that. And you can see the whole backyard where the boys are out there playing. We're gonna be able to see them. And this kitchen is just on another level. I feel like I need to learn how to be a good cook because of this kitchen. <laughs> so it's got a really nice stove, like gas stove area. We got the double ovens, which I've never had. So that would be nice. I'm gonna have to learn how to be a hostess. That's what I need to do. I need to learn how to have people over and make good food. <laughs> and then over here we have the pantry, which is another major upgrade from our other house because our other one was just like you open the doors and it's one little wall. So this is massive for us. I think our food is probably going to take up this much space and that's it, but it looks nice. <laughs> All right, enough of the house. Let's go to the backyard. This is where things start getting fun. I wish I could show you all the front yard. I'll try to show you what I can without exposing too much of our personal residence. But one of the things that sold me on this house was the yard. It's on uh, about two acres. It's all fenced in. So that means lots of outdoor fun for me and the boys. All right, so then if we go this way, that's the garage door. And then we have this where we're gonna store shoes and things. And then this laundry room, look how nice this is. I got a countertop to fold things on. This is where the washer and dryer is going to go. I'm going to have a sink. I'm going to be living large in here as I do the chores. <laughs> this is probably my favorite room in the whole house. And this is the master bedroom. So it's on the main floor, which our other house, it was on the upstairs level. But here it is. Look at all the windows. The best part to me is this vaulted ceiling. I think it's so pretty with the shiplap and stuff, but we do have to change that light out because I'm not crazy about that light. <laughs> and then this is the master bathroom. And I think the highlight of this is the floor because it's just so pretty. And we found out after the fact, after we bought this house, that these floors are actually heated. We saw this paneling right here and we were like, what is that? 
And so we look, we start like messing with it and figure out that these floors are heated. That is like something we would never ever get in a house. But when we found out about it, we were like, wow, that's really nice. Um, and then the bathtub. We have been wanting a bathtub. When we built our other house, they told us it was like a $7,000 upgrade for a bathtub. And that was our first house. We were like, ah, we'll do without. But ever since then, we have talked about how I wish we had a bathtub. I wish we had a bathtub. So now we're going to have one. And this will probably be in use literally tonight because we're so excited about it. <laughs> and then this, I feel like, is a must have when you're a girl. The makeup station where you can put a chair under there, that's a must have. Then we have a super nice shower with a rain head. It's thinking three shower heads. Some of the things in this house, I'm like, this is so extravagant. Cause I feel like it's just not really our personality to have these extravagant things, but it's also so nice. <laughs> and then the closet, I really love because of this, all this custom shelving that he did. So this guy was actually building this house for himself. So that's why I feel like every detail is just so good. It's because he was originally going to live here. Um, that's like the other like the guy's closet, the girl's closet. All right, now we're going up the stairs. And right when you get to the top is this bonus room, which is going to be awesome for the boys because as you guys remember from our other house, their playroom was just as little I think it was supposed to be an office maybe, like right when you walk in the front door. But now we have space. We can have a couch up here so I can sit and watch them while they play instead of always having to be crawling on the floor. Um, so that would be nice, especially since we have a baby now. And then they have a little kitchenette because as the boys get older, I feel like it'll be cool. They can have their friends up here. They have their little drinks in the fridge bathroom down there all right this is bedroom number one this is going to be little Jamin's room he's got a very cute light all the closets have the custom shelving which i think is a really nice touch so he's got his little closet and then he's got a bathroom and i like the floors of this bathroom and he's got a little tub and a shower so leaving his room we go down this hallway and we come to halston's room He's got a nice little wall design in his. And I love his window. I love how tall his windows are. And then his bathroom is probably my favorite bathroom because of the shower head. Look how cool the shower head is. So they have the gold accents in here. And I think that's so unique looking. It's like a, like vintage looking almost. He's got his little custom closet. And then last but not least is Oki's room. This is gonna be his new big boy room where we're gonna put his big boy bed. He's never slept in a real bed. He's been in a crib up until this point. So tonight he will be in his big bed in here. And eventually if we decide to have another kid or if they just want to, Oakland Halston will be sharing a room because we're gonna have twin beds in here because it's just too big for one bed. And then this room is obviously set up for two kids because it also has the double sink and then it has the uh, big stand-up shower. One of my favorite things about this house is that we're surrounded by pastures, so it's like no matter what window you look out, you just see pasture. There are some nice homes being built in the area. I think that's really cool. All right, guys, so that was our house tour. We're so excited for this next chapter in our lives and seeing all that entails. Yeah, I'm excited to get our stuff here. The movers are coming know, right now. I know we, They're going to be here in like 10 minutes. You can probably tell I'm sweating because I've been <laughs> trying so hard to get this everything to put together to do this empty house tour because the movers are literally going to be here in like five minutes with all of our stuff to junk it up. So we'll see you soon. <laughs> Thank God for this amazing blessing. We're so thankful. And we'll see you guys next video. See you soon.